Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the kingdom. King Petty here. And in today's video, I am going to do a highly requested video, and that is my renewed, reinvented, updated makeup routine. Uh, it's been asked by a lot of my friends, and I think whenever I posted um, this video here in October, not a uh, video, this photo here in October, um, and I've just been asked like what I use and I am gonna get judged. I already know that because I do mix a lot of my foundations as well as my powders. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. Would love to have you a part of the kingdom and you too can be a king and a queen. And if you haven't already, please click that bell notification icon so you can be notified every time I post a new video. It'd be greatly appreciated. And while you're at it, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I did shave my face this morning, but I haven't like moisturized. I have to reach for a lot of stuff. Um, and now I am hella ghetto because I do have <laughs> some samples, um, but I am going to go in with the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. Now I don't use a lot, like, as you, uh, well, I don't know if you can see. Hi, hello. Well, it's like still at the top. See? Okay. I'm just going to rub that into my face. Um, I have like combination skin, so like... Either when I get out of the shower, my skin's like super dry. And like, what I mean like super dry. I have like random dry patches everywhere. Um, but then it's weird because I can be like working a six to eight hour shift um, and just put like moisturizing cream. And by the end of my shift, I'm hella oily. Like you could cook a dozen eggs with the oil on my face which I wouldn't recommend because that's probably hella gross. Anyway, so after that, I am gonna go ahead and prime my face. I got a sample of the um, Fenty Pro Filter Primer. Now, I don't use a lot, so I got this like the week of Halloween. So it's lasted me for almost a month now. And then I'm just gonna... <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting sick. And then go in with the, probably gonna butcher this for Sally Skin Tune Blur. I don't know, I saw that Sephora, but I saw Nikki Tutorials use it, and I was like, let me be bougie and also use it. And if you're wondering like what I'm looking at, I have a little mirror set here <laughs> so I know what I'm doing because I don't want to be like, you know, just patting my face in front of y'all. Okay, so this is the part where I put on my foundation and this is a part where I'm going to get like hella judged um, because I mix, actually let me check for you. I mix eight foundations, well seven foundations into one and then I use a foundation stick. And I'll go ahead and leave a picture somewhere here. And I'll leave all the products that I do use in the description box down below. But yeah, it's like, I mix all of them into my Smashbox one. Um, I know I look hella pale compared to this, so just bear with me, okay? Oh, actually, just kidding. I'm gonna use the Professional just to like, take away all these pores on my nose because you can literally see it in this freaking camera. You're probably like, Armando, you already hella primed your face. I know. I don't know for like my male people in beauty, like, do you ever shave your face and then you think you get rid of all the hairs on your face and then you magically find one or it ends up on your freaking beauty blender. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the foundation stick from Sephora in the color Sandalwood and like I said I'll go ahead and leave all the products down below and I actually just use the stick to cover like my red spots so on my cheeks 
my nose, and then I kind of just use it down here. And then, I'm gonna go in with my Wet Beauty Blender, and go in with my little concoction. And I kind of just do, oh, this is the wrong Beauty Blender. You can already see how different these shades are. <clears throat> I'm also mixing in ASMR in this video. Actually, just kidding. That shit bothers, annoys the fuck out of me. But no judgment to people that love that. So you are probably like, Armando, your face looks hella dewy. I know, but I'm gonna fix it. Everything's gonna be a-okay. And I used to like hella cake my face. Like this used to look all over my face. And then I was like, you know what, Mondo? <clears throat> you actually don't need that much foundation on your face with everything else that goes on. For my neck, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M462 brush. This is just like a little foundation brush. And I'm just gonna go all in my neck here. Just kind of blend that out. I don't like using a foundation brush on like my actual face, because I feel like it leaves it help. You can see how fucking pale I am, by the way. Um, but I don't like the way it like leaves my face all streaky. Ow. So. There you go, now everything looks one color. Alright, so now I look like a fucking churro. I'm gonna set this um, with the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro Foundation. This is in the color 400 True Beige. And then I'm just gonna grab a little like fluffy brush. I don't know, this says Danielle. It's supposed to be a powder brush, which you know what? Powder foundation, second. Dang, I actually look good. And if you're wondering what the heck this is, like I said, it just shaped the fuck out of my face. Okay, now onto concealer. Uh, I used to use the, um... <laughs> Stupid. I used to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey, but, um... I need to buy a new one, and your girl's broke. So, Tart, if you wanna put me in your PR package, like, that's cool too. So now I use the Maybelline, uh, I don't know what kind of concealer this is. But I'm in the shade 20 Sand Sable. So. I thought I wasn't recording, I was about to be hella pissed. I'm impressed though because this part's already only been 10 minutes. I feel like I've been taking hella long. And then going in with that same beauty sponge that I used for my foundation, I'm gonna use the other end <coughs> and just blend that concealer out. Okay, and now you, I know you're wondering like why this part looks lighter, but I like to go back in with like the other side. Just kind of blend all that together. Okay, and I noticed I forgot to bring my powder here, so BRB. Whatever. 
Um, so I am a little basic bitch. I do use the Airspun loose face powder. Um, but I went ahead and pulled a James Charles. I mixed four powders, I believe. Um, so I have like this in here. I know I have some Morphe translucent powder. Not a lot though, because we don't need a flashback merry moment. Um, a Maybelline powder. Actually, I think two Maybelline powders. I'll list them down below. All right, and now that we look like a cold core, um, let's go ahead and do eyebrows. Um, for eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown, which I don't know why I use this when I have fucking caterpillars for eyebrows, but I like to use it kind of just to fill them in. And now to match the other side. If y'all have known me for as long as y'all have known me, like throughout middle school, high school, y'all would know my eyebrows have gone through it. And I don't know if y'all heard me earlier, I said caterpillars. Well, I used to have a roommate, um, I think it was my sophomore year. He would talk behind my back to my friends and call me caterpillars because my eyebrows are so big. But guess what, bitch? Who really thriving here? Me. I wouldn't say I'm really thriving. You know, find out real soon why. So now that I've turned my eyebrows into building blocks to build a whole village, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this powder off my face. But if you're wondering what brush I use, um, it's an e.l.f. Cosmetics eyebrow brush, and all it has is like 203 on it, so got it at Walmart, or I think Dollar Tree. And to wipe off my powder, I did use the Morphe E52 brush. <sighs> also, I know what you guys are wondering. King Petty, are you going to use the new Morphe X James Charles palette? No, because this is, um, well, one, I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. It's supposed to come in today. And two, this is going to be more of like my everyday when I go out or when I used to go out because I don't go out anymore. <clears throat> so yeah, but a look with the palette will be coming once I get it because I am also getting brushes and this eyebrow looks fucking ginormous. Whatever. Now I'm gonna um, contour my nose using the Hula Bronzer and I don't think this has a shade. Whatever, the one that Manny was the face of. Then I'm just gonna take it all the way up to my eyebrow. Like that. And then just take it down. I like to make it seem like I got a nose job because I have a fucking potato ass looking nose. Oh, I made this hella tiny. And I just like to take it out all the way. Just gonna cut it there and leave that little ball. Look, my oil's already starting to peek out and now I'd have to 
highlight the center of my nose. I think this is as good as this contour is gonna get. I don't know what brush this is. I got it in like a little cheap ass contour eyeshadow kit. Dang. I'm looking real good. And I'm off today. I ain't going anywhere. Anyways. Now on to contour. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade Delight Contour Kit. Oh. So I am going in with Shadow Play and Subconscious. It is the two lighter shades to contour my face. And I'm going in on a Sephora 204 contouring brush. I forgot to use a bronzer to bronze my face. Oh well, we'll do that right now. And I used to go like straight out, like going towards my ear, but then I realized that if you go like up, you kind of get like that cheekbone. And my fat ass needs all the skinniness that I can get. On a, this is a Sephora, I'm assuming a Sephora 45 brush. I don't know, it's like so faded, you can barely see it. Um, but I'm gonna take the darker shade, Sombre. And then just kind of contour the bottom. You gotta hide that double chin, ladies. And gentle dudes. Nobody likes a good double chin. But you know, if you got one, embrace it. I just... Uh, I'll explain everything soon. But one side of my face is currently bigger than the other. So... I'll let y'all decide which side that is. Um... But yeah, so you know, I just want to have a symmetrical face for now until my face heals. And no, for those that are assuming I did not get plastic surgery on my face. Oh, my double chin. <laughs> I'm still there. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with the Hula bronzer <clears throat> with my, dang it, is this already fading? My Morphe R7 contour brush. Um, but first, you know, I want some Jay-Z lips, so I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Lip Injection. Uh, lip, Pumping Lip Gloss. Yes, I should've done this, like, after. But y'all finna see my lips get hella red. It almost feels like getting stung by like, by like 50 ants. There we go. Bring back the color in my face. And then going back in with the powder. Just gonna cut that contour. All right, and I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. Throw my face in the oven. What else needs to be done? Oh, my eyeshadow. Right. Oh, well, I guess we can do a little blush. I'm not like a big fan of blush, but um, we're gonna go in with the Ofra blush in the color. I don't know what color. 
It doesn't say what effing color, but it looks like this. Now I'm gonna use the tiniest bit blush melon. No. You know, Ofra, if you're gonna send um, samples in your Etsy bags, at least do your girl a favor and put on the nose. This was hella harsh on this side. <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> but I did it for the content. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of powder on my face. It's cute. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna bring y'all in a little closer. And, well, I'm gonna use the Morphe 3502 palette. And use my Morphe M433 brush, and I'm gonna go in with these shades Universal and Orb. Just kind of mix those together and take it all up in here. Oh, that. That did not help me one bit. And so you see the contour that I did over here? Kind of just mix that together. I never really figured out a good technique on how to blend eyeshadow, um, but I'm learning. I'm just gonna take that all out. So I decided, like, why not turn this into a, like a Thanksgiving look? that you could wear. Uh, I mean, I'm not doing anything for Thanksgiving, but you know, show out this. And then I'm just gonna take the color Pure, which is the middle one here. I'm gonna take my finger. Oh, what did I just do? And I'm just gonna take it in the middle here. Mm. I'm just gonna go back in, blend all that together. And surprisingly, I really like dead ass only use one brush. supposed to be hanging out with somebody today but we'll see I'm gonna do the rest of the eye off camera <clears throat> add some lashes even though I don't wear lashes but for the purpose of this video I'm gonna go ahead and add lashes and I'll be right back okay just kidding because I'm gonna pre-film another video right now so I figured I would just put on mascara <sighs> All I did was put the Benefit Roller Lash on. Also, I've been told to buy clear mascara. Uh, if y'all know where the fuck to buy that, let a girl know. Um, and also, if I'm ever feeling like extra, I like to go in with the 
the spirit body crayon in white and just use like a small um concealer brush this is a morphe m705 and i will literally put that like on my waterline just to kind of open i don't know why i did um, like in my waterline just to kind of open up my eyes a little bit um but since i'm not going out i'm not gonna do that and now for a highlight i'm gonna use the anastasia beverly hills m Reezy highlight i should really go out but I'm probably gonna wipe all this shit off my face i kind of just take it all the way up here I'm like, Mondo, what do you use? And I tell them every time, but I don't think they realize that I go hard in the paint with highlight. Just kind of take it up all the way up here. A little bit on the nose. And I think we're done. Oh, well, I guess like set it. So I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Setting Spray. Do a little sister spritz. Or sister shower, because that was a lot. But yeah, guys, this is um, my everyday, except for like the little glitter in the eye. Um, this is my everyday, well, besides the blush and the little silver and maybe like not like my bottom lashes, this is my everyday go-to if I'm going out or an event. This is what I do. Um, let me know if you like it. Please comment down below. Um, also comment where I can find clear mascara because I tried finding some at Walmart and I couldn't. I don't know if I have to order it online. But also keep a lookout for my James Charles X Morphe collab look that'll be on my Instagram real soon. Um, I'm also waiting for more brushes to come in because the look I have, I require more brushes. So I hope you like this video and as always, stay petty kings and queens.